Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The Staffy was bred for blood sports such as bull baiting and cockfighting. Its muscular body and strong jaw means it's commonly misunderstood and much maligned because beneath their hard image, these dogs are little angels. In our survey, you voted them the most affectionate of all our dogs. A whopping 69% of them are soppy face lickers. He's cute, cuddly and friendly. Nine-year-old Neve and her mum, Kerry, know just how loving this breed can be. They foster abandoned staffies before finding them a permanent home. Do you remember Roxy? Yeah. Our wee pup. Bouncy and jumpy. Mid Rambo. Oh, yeah. To foster staffies, you, you get that feeling that you've helped a dog, because it's quite a nice thing to, uh, to know that you've helped. You've helped an animal. Who's this? He had one ear up and one ear down constantly. Taz, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love Taz, me and devil. It's just so rewarding that they're getting the help that they need and getting the loving home that they need. Who's this, baby? This is Butch, the last one we had. A real old man, Butch. Yes, I loved him so much. Yep. Now they've got a new staffy to love. Meet three-year-old George. Like all their foster dogs that have come and gone, they rescued George from a local shelter. Over the three months I've had, I've had George, I have grown to love him, you know, like he's my own. George is just special because he's so loving. He's such a loving dog. Yay, These affectionate dogs have a famously high tolerance for pain. Poor George has cut his paw, but he's not making a fuss about it. He's really laid back. He's taking it in his stride, really. Everything he does, he takes in his stride. Unfortunately, Staffies have picked up a bit of an image problem. Last year, they accounted for almost a third of the dogs that came through the doors of Battersea Dogs Home. It's, it's really just bad ownership. They're not training their dogs right, they're not bringing their dogs up right. They need help because people mis like, misplace them, mistreat them in that. and think they're bad, but they're not. They're lovely. They're lovely dogs. Like all dogs, if Staffies haven't been properly trained, they can have behaviour issues. George is great with people, but he does get agitated around other dogs. Oh, it's something he'll need to learn to control before he can go to a permanent home. When you take him outside for a walk, if he, he might see a dog, he'll just be a little... He'll get a bit nervous and he won't know what to do and he'll just be like... <laughs> George has been seeing a behaviourist to help him overcome this particular hurdle. Immediately, his pulse rate shoots up through the roof. You can see the adrenaline pumping in through his back muscles here. Heavy breathing. The best thing to do is to try and get him to respond and walk him off. George. There, boy. Hand targeting, hand signals, very good for that. Create some distance, stress goes down. If George can master these calming techniques, he'll be ready to start a fresh chapter with new owners. Uh, we have seen a change in the past few months, and he's getting better, a lot better. It's going to be really sad to see him go, because we've had him for a couple of months now, and I'll miss him a lot, and I won't forget him, that's for sure. These soft-hearted animals make ideal family pets.